All right, and we'll hook that in here. Wow, look at that. We are ready to go here. Man, things are really ramping up. But oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Uh, yeah, things have been pretty crazy in the last month or so. I know it's really, really, really hard to see, but just over the horizon over there, we have a field finally ready. Of course, our wheat beans aren't ready, and uh, we still haven't, you know, done much with this. We have sprayed it. No weeds are coming up. And of course, we have some canola to get in the ground real soon. But first things first, I bet you're wondering, yeah, did you do it? And uh, I did. We purchased it and uh, it seemed like it was necessary because like I said, we would have had to borrow something that had been more money out of our pocket. And since this canola seems like it's bringing such good money and this was such a good deal, we decided to purchase it and uh, bring it on home. Along with that, we had a little bit of a problem with the tractor, and by little bit, I mean the engine blew up, and I wasn't paying the money for it. Actually had a lot of problems. Don't really want to get into that, so we decided to snag, wait for it, this beautiful 8110. Man, this thing's awesome. It comes with, of course, the green star. We've got firestones on it, and this thing was only a one owner. I don't know how we got lucky enough to grab this thing, but we did. I know a lot of you are probably like, dude, how are you getting your money? Well, I don't know. I, I just keep finding it uh, in my pockets, I guess. So without further ado, we got the 8110 all started up, fired up. Letting it warm up a little bit, even though it is a blazing hot out here. We've got both of our Brent wagons hooked up. I believe we're going to use the 8110 for that, because I think when that's fully loaded down with corn, it'll be easier to pull. We're actually going to hop in the Dodge, take the Demco down with the header, get that all staged. we got to look over a few things with... The combine, of course, and then after we harvest that field down there, we really got to get this John Deere planter in and the canola in the ground, and it looks like there's rain in the near forecast, which is what we have to do to get that canola to come up. And I also know what you're thinking, uh, have you fixed the driveway yet? And uh, no, I haven't. It's still terrible. It's a winter project, maybe. I really hope this header doesn't fly off. We got to strap down pretty good. But nonetheless, we will go ahead and head to the field. We'll shut that door. Man, this is the one thing I hate about solo farming, is taking the slow hike right back up to the field. I mean, I guess I could unhook that but I do want the truck there just so it's easier to get that out of the field as well so we'll run back down to the farm grab the combine look over some things and then we'll head back down here get the header on and uh, start harvesting some corn all right we got the old thing all opened up here checked everything greased it over everything seems to be good work in order I guess we'll just have to find out when we fire it up but I'm gonna hop over in the 8110 hook these gravity wagons up and I guess we'll have to come back and get those because there's not really a great place Place to put them. I'm not gonna lie, that looks mean. That setup is absolutely gorgeous, but how could I forget? Y'all almost let me forget. That, look at this. We got our Mac sitting over here. It is ready to go. I've done some work on the engine over the past few weeks, and this thing should be able to crank up with no problem. So like I said, we got the Mac out now. It's ready to go. I don't know that we'll use it for this field yet, but another big thing. You guys are probably wondering where are the chopper boxes. Come to find out, chopper, we didn't make as much money as I wanted to off of it, so I got them worked on a little bit, ended up selling them, and now we just have the 5830. This is still really nice. I don't know if I might get some lower end boxes to have, but I'm pretty sure we're going to end up selling that. And uh, we're honestly probably going to get rid of the 4240 as well, but that is just to be determined. So here we go. We're off to our first full time corn harvest in Kentucky. Like I said, we have done a field of wheat, so it's not our first harvest here, but it is our first full length season harvest in the corn. And man, am I excited! Okay, now the great thing about these modern headers is they can hook up quick. We've got all of our straps off, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can't just get this strapped on real fast and go ahead and get in the field. So, man, here we are, full bore corn harvest. We're going to get this. We're going to take a few few passes right off the front so we can go ahead and bring our gravity wagons down. But until then, uh, we're just going to keep plowing away at this. Then, like I said, when we get this opened up, we'll bring those down here, and then we'll finally cut around the field and uh, fully jump into this thing. 
Here we go, man. A 9650 STS is still running. We've had three passes on the in rows open up. We took a little bit out of the outside, and now I'm going to move the truck and the header trailer in here. Walk back. I will grab the 8110 and the gravity wagons, bring those things down here, and we will just go as far as we can into this cornfield, and I hope we can get it done today. Well, here we are. Everything is moved. We are blocking the truck a little bit, but that doesn't matter right this second. Both gravity wagons are here. 644 each for bushel capacity. I think we can overload them a little bit, but man, I'm excited. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. Well, here we are unloading for the second time, and it feels like we are just flying through this field. We will have to watch, because it does look like there are some rain clouds, and I think I hear some thunder off in the distance, so we will have to watch out on that just in case it does start raining. But I can't complain, man. 181 bushel average in this field. We are going to make some serious cash off of this grain.
So here we go, man. I would say we are easily three and a half, four stone with this field. We're just wrapping it up. We have a few raindrops starting to come in. I think we'll be able to get it done. It doesn't look on my radar like it's going to be too serious, but we do want to make sure that if it starts pouring or anything, we get out of the field and uh, get back home or get these, more importantly, get these uh, brents covered so the grain does not get wet. So one big thing as we're heading back over here to jump into the rest of this corn is when we do get ready to come in here and put our canola down, we basically just got to really make sure that we work the crap out of this ground because if not, that seed is just not going to penetrate through the ground unless I have enough downforce, which I'm sure it is, but we'll just have to make sure we work the ground a few times. We have to go back over where we had silage and work that ground again and then we will pretty much be ready to you know just just plant it so we'll make sure that after we get this field out we start working all the ground i'm thinking we're gonna put canola actually in the field that we made so that'll be three fields of canola and with the prices that's going on i've even had purdue the turkey farm say they were going to contract with us and pay us twenty dollars an acre so that's going to be absolutely insane if we plant about 100 acres of it and uh, we're really going to be bringing in the cash and uh, making a profitable future for ourselves. Like I said, it's going to be a new kind of crop and we have to desiccate it. I'm going to have to look into some specialty sprayers. Um, it's going to be totally different, but I think there is opportunity for growth with that. Well, my, my, that was a long day. We got it finished. I'm super happy. 181 bushel average, two full Brent grain carts. I got, I mean, we are about to rack up the cash. We're going to go ahead, run this down to the co-op or the granary, sell this stuff off and see how much money we can make because corn prices right now for us are real high and uh, I think it's going to be real profitable. Well, $31,000 later. I knew that was going to be worth it, man. Of course, let's stop here. Don't want to get ran over by a car. But we're going to head back to the field, shut everything down for the day. I thought we were going to go ahead and get the combine switched over to beans. Uh, looks like we'll probably do that tomorrow or the following day because I don't know if we'll have rain or not. D depends on if things dry up, honestly. But uh, without further ado, uh, we'll see you all the next one. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing.